Are you ready? Years ago, my dad was in Bible school in Moody Bible Institute in Chicago, Illinois. The Depression was in full swing. It was a tough time. Dad was working his way through by working at the Ford plant there in Chicago. On his way back to his apartment, he was standing on a street corner, and he realized that he had not, on that day, upheld his commitment that he'd made a while back to try and share the gospel with someone each day. So dad thought, I've got to do that. And there was one man standing there under the street lamp. He was a distinguished looking businessman with a very nice overcoat, briefcase, newspaper folded nicely the way that some people do, holding the newspaper, reading it with his briefcase in his hand. It was a high crime area and my dad had worked a double shift. His beard was starting to show. He looked like he needed to shave every day around five o'clock in the afternoon. Now it was about 10 or 11 at night. Dad had his collar turned up. And he took a step over toward the man. The man didn't look at him, but kind of took a step away. Dad waited a moment, took another step toward the man. The man took a step away. Dad was shy by nature and a bit nervous. And he had a very deep voice, much deeper than I can adequately imitate. Streetcar began coming into view, and Dad thought, it's now or never. So Dad stepped right up in the man's face and said, Mister, are you ready to meet God? <laughs> the man ran and jumped headlong into the streetcar while it was still moving, just <laughs> dove in the door. Dad stood there and thought, what happened? And then Dad began to realize <laughs> that man thought he was about to die. He thought my dad was about to kill him. That was not Dad's intention, but it may have saved the man's eternal soul. I would like to think that now that my dad is in heaven, he has met that man somewhere up there saying, you're the guy who scared the wits out of me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for causing me to realize that at any moment, I could die. And the question is not whether or not I'm going to live or die. A hundred percent of us are going to die. The question is, are you ready? Are you ready to see God? Jesus said, repent, or you too will perish. You may not like the way Jesus presents himself, but you better get used to it. Because every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I hope you're ready.